Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh To today's AutoCAD video tutorial we are going to look at the way to set up our layers according to ISO properties so first of all we are going to uh, make 11 layers with different titles object hidden center dimension and each layer has a different color a different line type such as continuous and thickness so we have decided on using the ISO pencil width or pencil thickness of 0 0.7 mm uh, as well as the thin line of 0 0.35 mm as you can notice that the thin line is half of the thick line this is according to ISO standard so uh, the outcome of this layer lesson will be used extensively in making technical drawings mechanical drawings such as this okay so this is a drawing made in AutoCAD and I'll take you through a walk uh, we call this layer walk and you can access this from the home tab the layers panel going to the layer walk icon so you click on the layers and you browse through them one by one so these are the center lines there are no construction lines these are the dimension lines, the grid reference, hidden layout is not available, object lines, section lines, text, title block, viewport. Okay, so uh, we have composed this drawing from multiple layers which are of, of importance to us, uh, especially for printing. Uh, you can convert this. AutoCAD file into a PDF equivalent by going to the AutoCAD main button and then accessing the export to PDF option and you can actually produce a PDF of it which is easily printed in any uh, printing shop without having any AutoCAD software and you still can access the same layers that we showed you before so for example if you want to print without the dimension line then you can just remove the dimension line or else you can remove the text and you can remove the viewport title block grid reference and title block grid reference and you can print whatever you want to print you can remove the section center hidden sorry hidden section so you have only the uh, object lines so these are some of the applications of using layers and how to convert them into PDF so we're going to look at the actual process of making them so I'm going to start the new file make sure that you build your file starting from the AutoCAD ISO file avoid using the 3D because it is meant for 3D objects we are, we are still doing the 2D objects so use the AutoCAD ISO and here you can remove the extra layout tab if you are not using it and you can rename this sorry you can re you rename this by right clicking the tab and rename so you can call it title block ISO yeah so first of all we are going to look at the layers so you can access the ribbon at home tab layers panel and this is the icon for layers properties so I'm going to use the same file that I showed you just now to build up my file okay so this is a new click the new layer icon and then start naming it object enter center enter hidden enter twice dimension enter 
construction enter title block enter grid reference text uh, port view and also the section so we need to have 11 of them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 one more left which is the hmm, which should be layout should be the layout 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 and next we're going to move and make the colors as required so object is set as white but in fact it is a very very tricky color this this color is shown as white but however it reflects the kind of background used if you're using a black background then the color will be automatically white and if you switch your background color to black to white then the line color automatically updates and becomes uh, black so I really advise to use this for your uh, white and black colors okay so we're going to change the center line to blue uh, hidden to green dimension to red uh, grid reference to gray title block to gray port view to purple layout to brown and then next we're going to change the line types so for center we have uh, we need to load a new type for center according to ISO it should be long dash dot so I choose the long dash dot and then for hidden again I need to load a, a new line type according to ISO it should be the dash line then select the dash line for it as for the rest it is continuous type next is the line weight so for object it is 0 0.7 thick line uh, center line is a thin line 0 0.35 which is half of 0 0.7 hidden line is a thin line dimension is a thin line construction is left as default title block is a thick line grid reference is a thin line text is left as default port view is left as default section is a thin line layout is left as default uh, a couple of points that I want to uh, pay attention to when I'm making a layer property for example the on icon should be uh, activated shouldn't be like this off yeah it shouldn't be off otherwise the content of that layer will be invisible as well as the freeze button shouldn't be frozen it should be you should unfreeze it yes unless it is required to be so again the lock don't lock any layer because you can't draw that layer there is a very faint difference between on and freeze and that takes a long discussion to describe it but usually on a regular basis we usually deal with the on and off because it makes it visible and invisible whereas the freeze is used to reduce the uh, calculation aspect when you freeze a layer then that layer will not only be invisible but also will not be calculated by the micro by the CPU or the processor of the computer uh, during uh, drawing manipulation okay another point is the printer icon uh, the printer icon is used to make the layer invisible for the printer so it means you can't print that layer so if you don't want, you don't want to see the hidden line in your printed material then you should switch off the printer layer sorry the printer icon 
So I'm done with this. Next, I'm going to the model space to apply my lines. So I'm going to draw a line using uh, the object layer. And then making another line using the section layer. And you may notice that although object line is thicker than the section line, you can't really see it on the screen. This is due to the fact that the toggle button for line weight is off. So we should on the toggle button for the line weight, only then you can see the actual effect. And this is only for the display purposes. As the printer is concerned, the printer is going to print in thick lines no matter this toggle button is switched on or off, it doesn't matter. This, I repeat, this button is only used for the purpose of display, not for the purpose of printing. So if you don't want to wish, uh, if you don't want to see your lines in thick, then you switch it off. If you want to see it in thick, then you switch it on. Uh, again, I'm going to select another layer, dimension, make some dimension lines. Uh, or else you can select your hidden line and draw some hidden line. Uh, if you zoom in, you will see the dashed line. Yes, and uh, again you, you can select a center line or let's say how can I change my dimension line to a center line you can do so by selecting the line first and then accessing the layer menu select center and it will be immediately changed to a center uh, layer so if you zoom in you will see the long dashed dotted line type if you want to uh, adjust the uh, frequency of the dash line or the long dash dotted line meaning to increase the uh, dash measurement uh, you need to do so not from the model space however from the uh, layer from the layout or paper space so you can do so here uh, here where the line is shown in actual dimension so you can see here it is quite visible although just now it was unclear however if you want to set this again to a better value then you can access this you can access the uh, line type others option and you can set the scale for the global scale and the current object scale and this would change the line type so if you increase the value the dash will be bigger if you decrease the value the dash will be smaller So I think that's it for today's lesson, how to uh, set up your layers and how to do some of the uh, functions in the layer panel. Uh, I advise not to tackle with this. These are the overriding properties which, me, which, which should be set to by layer all the time except that you want to override a property for example you want to set the object line to red color although it is the object layer line which is in white color however when you override with the red color it will be uh, shown as red so make sure when you are doing any drawing you check your uh, overriding parameters they should be all set to by layer you shouldn't use it while it is set like this you can see a yellow color 
this is not advisable because everything you're going to make after this will be in yellow so you need to set this back to by layer as for the ones that we had that have been drawn already you can reset them to by layer so i hope that this was helpful to you thank you so much and see you again